Thanks for spending part of your Tuesday with us on Mid Morning. Getting a doctor's appointment in a few years may become even more difficult. Yeah, a new report by the Association of American Medical Colleges shows a shortage of physicians in the U.S. is going to get worse. The report says the shortfall, we could be looking at 34 to 88,000 doctors. Ooh. By 2025, that's just uh, just eight years away compared to what our growing and aging population may need. When you look at primary care physicians, not too long ago there was great concern that we wouldn't have enough primary care doctors, yeah. but a lot of students have actually gone into primary care perhaps because insurance is more affordable yeah. when you're doing primary care versus surgery and some of the specialties. But those areas are really in trouble. And when we think about, Kim, the fact that our population is getting older yes. and we're we getting sicker in some ways, mm -hmm. we need more care, it, it is concerning. This is a big concern. And uh, we've been talking about this for several years. I was a reporter in Duluth about 10, 12 years ago, mm. and I covered health care. And this is sure. a big issue, especially in that population as you get to more rural areas. What was areas. the problem? Why weren't students going into the medical fields? A number of reasons, really, when you look into it. I mean, not only the, the work demand, the hours, the yeah. medical mm. school is tough tough to it's get hard. into. Yeah. There's not a lot in, of spaces open. Spaces, and of right? course, then the cost. The cost, you have to get malpractice insurance and all that. I, I think a lot of people uh, are deterred. Uh, you know, I think when, it, when you're looking at this potential shortage, I do think we're going to see a shift. More people are going to be doing doctor's appointments online. I know my doctor offers it right now. You get a prescription filled within an hour for some of those minor illnesses that you sure, can take care sure. of online. So I think we'll see more of a shift to that. And I think that's a good thing. You'll get more people with the medical attention that they need without necessarily having to go into the office. And it helps control costs. And research mm -hmm. is one of the things they say why they give such a large range is we don't know what's going to happen in healthcare. We don't know how many, you know, dermatologists, for example, it can be very easy to do dermatology visits uh, virtually over a webcam where you can right. take a look at someone and yeah. try to diagnose. Uh, there could be medical, you look at pharmaceutical developments, you could have various drugs that might attack some of the major problems that are causing people to go to the doctor right now. I also think that they're going to look at how can we care for a patient more as a team. Maybe it's yeah. not just the doctor that does the diagnosing, that does a treatment. You know, already I'm sure mm. many people, when you go into a doctor's office, oftentimes it's the nurse, it's the R and that you see and not sure. yeah, the doctor. How often do you actually see the a doctor, actual the white doctor. coat? But we can't yeah. count on these things, and especially when you're talking about the aging population, it's not the same as us going to the doctor. You know, sure. there are more mm. complex uh, yeah. problems, there are Very multiple true. things going you on. Need specialists. I don't know what the solution is, but I tell you, like, w I look at my kids and the cost of college, I'm not sure that I would uh, want Encourage them to sign them. up for six years of postgraduate yeah. work on and on and on until you can finally earn money. Well, now hearing that there's this shortage out there, maybe, yeah. you know, I don't Good know, job salaries security. are really yeah. going to go yeah. up too. Maybe they yeah. can take care of me when I'm <laughs> There you go, Jason.